First blood. Don't happen to me. First blood. Like, I, I've got this feeling that there's a frame where you can kill the life stealer. Oh, we see the last order maybe. He's been taken up to the high ground. And this might be his death. He's gonna get a kill here most likely after the Batrider with the Requiem at close range. And Flame gets hooked on. Yao is now up on the high ground as Zed Boy S. Just ripping heroes apart. Yao, what do you do? What do you do right now? Yeah. Well, he did buy that Midas, and so he's not very tanky at all, but it does mean he'll have his Aghanims around the time he gets level 16, probably. Wonder, is Aratika going on Sally? Looks like they are, they're gonna jump out, the infest pop, Sala dropping low, but then in comes Yao, defending the clock. Oh no, 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 no. Not quite enough HP to survive Thread, and now they're gonna find a secondary kill. That was very close to how OGD wants to respond to pick offs. I mean, the clockwork did his job, and the Naga got actually got sleep off for like half a second, then died anyway. And now, life for the TP's top is gonna go in and Witch Doctor with a Fisher from Lamb. They'll find that kill. Does MMY no? Shadowfiend with a blink? Okay. I thought for a second that maybe Rubik had a blink. Oh, that's really nice. Stolen rage, but Sonic Wave cares not about your magic community. As E Home find a bunch of kills there. Whether you know cogs and creeps around, so uh, thanks, chat. I didn't notice he wanted to steal, uh, take the gem away. But if you try and place the TP when there's cogs around, you know maybe you can't actually find a ground to place it, and things start getting a little bit annoying. Lamb is here with a blink. Life is inside of him. They're going to try and get Xiao Wei. Life for the jump down, start hitting away. The gem is dropped, but the Earthshaker is pretty damn low. Another raid's going to hit. Yao dropping low, and those me on their procs definitely ripping through LGD. Self fuels, but he's already taking damage from the ice blast and E home with a four for one trade. Lamb's the only one to fall. Yep, and again, Silent has a Difficult to see LGD recovering. Who do they target? And, Dyer's top tower is under uh, attack. Well, Life Stealer's Aegis just ran out, so if they could kill him, that's a big deal. Because we were talking about uh, the Yules and Requiem and how I feel like there's a frame where Requiem can hit before BKB can pop, but I'm not, not sure about Song. We always saw, you know, some of the are in Black Hole, where there's a BKB's coming, maybe oh, yeah, gonna try for the Requiem, but... Life Stealer jumps in the creep, dodges it, Ice Blast's gonna fly it across. Life Stealer might drop here, in fact, dies to the final Requiem of the Shadow Feed, but Siler, he's silenced, hexed, fissured, locked in place. As Yao jumps in with a hookshot, Cox is up. DDC as the Queen of Pain blinks out. So they defend the high ground, they get a couple of big ticket kills. Like how much gold did yeah, they get from that life stealer? Brunt of it, but he still got damaged by it. This Naga now. What can she do? What can she do with these illusions? Amanda style? Mirror image, you know, you can keep pushing these lanes out. Top lane is all the way back towards the diet here too. Mid lane oh, is towards the top. river. Oh, they found maybe. Top tower. He has buyback and 90 gold. That's so close. That's what he was there for. I'm sure that that's why he pushed up to play. He wanted his buyback gold. Oh, poor, 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 maybe. Well, 79. So what? That gives him about 60 seconds. Well, look at this. Silas actually going to go for the tier 2 top, I think. Or is maybe. he going for DDC? Oh, he's going to kill DDC. He tries to TP, but that's not the plan. Silo now going to find a nice and easy kill on the AA. The he actually has to kill the tar too. He has to kill the tar, otherwise Shadow King's not able to buy back. Well, they're already taking racks. There is no glyph. Yao is dead. And E home have breached high ground. Taking the first set of racks with, with ease, really. Tier 2 does fall up top to Naga. What's, what's stolen by the Rubik? Rage. Shadow Fiend buying back, but remember this is Shadow Fiend with 18 souls. He does not have his full arsenal here. Maybe sends the life stealer up. In fact, he's got 11 souls. Top tower is under attack. Radiant's bottom barracks. Yeah, because he died in the previous fight and he was busy farming up again when they killed him. Life Stealer just backing up. They take one set of ranks, takes the tier three at mid. Who gets the cheese? Who gets the cheese? Lamb? Oh. Is it lamb's cheese? Go and place the ward. Someone take it. Someone has to be hungry. Nobody wants it. No. Okay, it is. Still Naga's in base. Those images are gonna run out. Dyer's top tower. And DDC went back to defend, but he doesn't need to be mid. But he can ulti from all the way at base. Ryla has song. Just waiting for the right moment. If Life Stealer pops his rage, okay, Batrider's gonna jump in. They're gonna try and find Sila, but he backs up. Can't quite find an MMY with the telekinesis Radiant's back though. Hook shot onto RTK. He's still got four staff available, so we can escape from this. As the life stealer chases down and Dyer's charges towards maybe. Now yeah, gonna get dropped by the sonic wave and a couple of right clicks. Orchid surely gonna pop it there. Yep, in flame. Cheese up. ZFY. Or ZYF even. Takes a full requiem to the base. 
And Aegis and Wolf are gonna bring him back to the land of the living as in flame. Triple kill spree finds another kill in the back end. GG is called and E home take game number one. Uh, something you might not have noticed, uh, which is quite significant in that fight. We saw Jayat using the, the Witch Doctor with Aghanim and Salty, and Lanham was just waiting. It lasted about one and a half seconds, and the Earthshaker blinked and measured to stop it. So, if he wasn't aware, it's a fast reaction. If he was aware, it's a good plan. Either way, because that Witch Doctor ulti might have been the difference maker. Yeah, well, thanks everyone for watching. That is game one in this two game series. So, we'll see whether in game two LGD can tie it up or whether Ehome are going to have a 2 0 sweep.